and he woke you up this morning. Thank you. 
next song in heaven. I hope we can encourage everyone. Everyone here, not just here, but the neighborhood, amen. We lost the neighborhood. They don't say anything possible. But yeah, um, this next song here, man. Really encourages me. Encourages my family. Encourages my dad as well, amen.
where the ambulance is going, Lord, touch them, Lord. Father God, whatever the situation may be, be with them, Lord God. In the name of Jesus, Lord, stretch out your hand, Father God, and touch them right now from the crown of their head to the soles of their feet, Father. We thank you. We love you, God. We know that all things, God, are in your hand right now. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. You know, brothers and sisters, we have to believe that way. You know, when you hear the helicopter go by or the ambulance or the fire trucks, you know, pray immediately. Start praying for the situation. We don't know how bad or, you know, crucial it is for the person that they're going to, to the site. But pray for them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Is Brother Gary here to testify? Okay. Um, after Brother Gary, we'll have... Um, uh, Michael Ray, come and share some songs with us. Praise the Lord. Clap your hands for Jesus. Praise the Lord. It's good to be here tonight. Amen. It's always good to uh, come into unity with brothers and sisters from different ministries. Amen. You know, up to here to lift the name of Jesus. I want to greet you all in the name of Jesus. You know, uh, Brother James, you know, Good to see you, Pastor James. You know, uh, I know I always try to reach out to you sometimes and your phone is out. <laughs> so turn your phone off. <laughs> well, we thank God for each and every one of you that are here. You know, uh, young brothers that are here, you know, good to see you guys. You know, uh, my, my classmate back there, I was hoping he'd be talking to me in Apache one day. <laughs> I used to have a class with Aaron, man, right? Apache class. <laughs> But uh, I'm here to just share a little bit of my testimony, just a little portion. You know, I, I tell people when I go places, you know, that uh, you know, I'll just share a little snippet. You know, and in the old days, you know, you get the, the director's cut, and then you get the extended version, amen? You know, I'm going to give you just a little snippet, amen? You know, <laughs> you know, my name is Gary, Gary Harney, you know, uh, Junior, there's three of us, you know, <laughs> so... You know, I, I come from a place that I was very bound by drugs and alcohol, running drugs all over the nation, amen? You know, but I'm here to tell you guys of Moonbase that there is a better way, amen? Amen. You know, I used to roam the streets and, and not knowing what was happening in my life. I was getting deeper and deeper into darkness, amen? And my son... Just hearing him, it's a blessing. Amen. It just, just, just blesses me because uh, he listens. <laughs> you know, we shared a little bit this morning about uh, uh, the end times. You know, it's very crucial for us as believers to understand how crucial it is because there's people out there that haven't heard the stuff we hear. Amen. The stuff we know. I tried to, tried to skim a little bit off. But well, we went through four seals this morning, you know, and, and, and the congregation that was there, they got a chance to really hear about it because sometimes we don't hear it very much. Amen? You know, and, and one thing that comes to mind is being in darkness when I was out there roaming. You know, I, I look back in the Old Testament and I, I read about a man named Pharaoh. You know, he was put into darkness for three days. Amen. And that darkness was so thick that he could touch it. Word of God talks to us about four levels of darkness. Amen. And I thank God that he pulled me out of that darkness. He began to start working on me from the inside. Amen. He placed me on, on a, the potter's wheel and began to start turning me and turning me and trimming things off of me. How many of y'all thank God for his, his goodness? Amen. Amen. He never, never gave up on me. All those times I ran around. I, I know there was many times that those people that laid hands on me, prayed for me, but I still kept running around. I share this a lot because uh, I have a whole family that none of them is saved, but they're slowly beginning to come into God now. Amen. But I remember coming back from the city, going to, to Gilson Wash over here in Tarson Valley, and uh, falling asleep on the couch. 
and I'll wake up all greasy, amen. You know, I, I would always think, man, I'm all greasy from the alcohol, amen. You know, <laughs> but not knowing that my grandmother, her name was Betty Harney, she was laying hands on me. She was beginning to intercede on my behalf. Jesus intercedes for your behalf, amen. She was interceding for on my behalf because I didn't know who Jesus was at the time. You know, little did I know that the time was going to come where I was standing here. Only God knew this. Amen. Only God knew this. All those years I ran around. I ended up getting sent away to do 12 years in the state penitentiary. As I got out, I remember walking out through those gates at Florence. The gates are giant. And I remember the key coming down from the top. And it was coming out slowly and slowly. And I was thinking, why is this taking so long? You know, the gates opened. And I walked out thinking I was free. Little did I know that I stepped right back into bondage. I didn't know anything about Jesus at all. I didn't find Jesus when I was locked up. I didn't find Jesus anywhere when I was wandering the streets. This right here is good. Because a long time ago, when I was out there running around, nobody came to me. Amen. I was out there at the drug house. I was out there at the bootleggers. Nobody even, even came over to say, hey, brother, how you doing? So I praise God for what you guys are doing here tonight. But what had happened is when I got released, I went right back into my bondage. And it wasn't until 11 years ago, my wife, I don't know where she's at. Maybe she can hear me from the house at Hollywood Bridge. <laughs> but she, she asked me one night to go to a revival. And I was like, uh, okay. You know? And coming from a wild life, it was pretty surprising to her, I guess. But what happened is I went there, and there was, there was a drawing in my spirit. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know what that was. But what, what, was, what was happening is the Lord spoke to me and told me, Take whatever you have in your pocket and put it in that offering. So I walk up there, and the man of God, I believe he was from up north somewhere, he comes and tells me, he says, Son, Jesus has been waiting for you. And I was like, Okay, you know, not really understanding what that was all about. But I go, it takes me back all the way to when I was 11 years old at World Evangelism. I was standing way out in the darkness in the car. And a man of God told me, he said, God's calling me. I was a young kid not knowing what that meant. You know, and, and I thank God that I'm alive today. Because if it wasn't for Jesus having his hand upon me, all those things that I did, all those things that I did, I should have lost my life. I tell my family, that was probably, I can't count, probably over 30 times that I should have lost my life. But it's only by the grace of God that I'm here. You know, it was it was a, a calling that he had on my life. There was a reason why he kept me alive. And and I always I always talk to everybody about uh, one time he spoke to me, he said, I preserved you. You know, and I, I was thinking preserve. I look at that very day I was making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> and I saw the jelly and it said preserves. And I'm thinking, preserve. Okay. So I, I started looking these things up. And I began to understand that, that you put the stuff in the jelly, the stuff. <laughs> the, the whatever it may be, what, I don't know what type of jam you guys are tonight. But God preserved you guys, amen. He preserved you guys for a reason. And he put me away for a while. And began to take me on a little journey to be built up. Amen. He took us many places, me and my family. We've been discipled many times by three different people. But God used them to begin to start imparting things into us. And tonight I can tell you that I thank God for his hand upon my life and your life. You know, so, so just my testimony tonight is just about how good God is. He's so good that he never gave up on you. He never gave up on you. And my, my son was talking about it as... as as believers in Christ, it is up to us to sound the horn. Amen. We read in Jude, Jude 24, I believe, it talks about how we are to 
pull them people out of the fire. Amen. And that's our job. Each and every one of you that is here, you probably think, eh, I can't say nothing, but you know what? Your actions speak louder than words. Amen. Amen. I always tell my kids that when they go to school, and uh, well, my son's not in school no more. <laughs> my daughter, when well, my son he goes to work, I always tell them, present yourself as, as a young woman of God, young man of God, because your actions will cause somebody to be pushed away from God if you act the wrong way. Amen. So tonight, my testimony is about God's goodness. Never ever giving up on me, even though I wandered these streets, not even knowing that there was plans for my life. You know, there was things that I did that I was ashamed of for many years, but that shame was what was keeping me out of church. And I began to start understanding as I read the scriptures that I needed to give it to God. Amen. There's something that we are praying for. You know, I, I, I shared this with, with everybody this morning. I was talking about when I got saved, I prayed and prayed for God to forgive me because I used to be a drug dealer. And I see many people out here that I used to sell drugs to. And, and it burdens me sometimes. So I go to God like, forgive me, forgive me. And it took a man of God to come and tell me one time, God wants you to know he does not know what you're talking about. <laughs> See, that's the type of God we serve. That's the type of God we serve. He does not remember anything you did wrong. Amen. He forgives you, and that's it. He forgives you, and you got to forgive yourself. Amen. You got to forgive yourself and continue to walk forward. Amen. Amen. So tonight I want to just tell you guys it's a blessing to share the word of, of God with you guys. I wanted to share some scripture, but it might take all night. Amen. <laughs> so I just want to thank the Mix family for inviting my family to come. God bless you guys. driving by, people are going through, you know, if somebody could activate their faith and believe that God will touch those that are driving through here. There's a big dip right here, a pool right here. As they go in, we must, we should just fill some anointing oil in that, that dip right there. God will touch them. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I wanted to make an announcement. May 4th, we are going to have a inspiration back there, new home base. So those of you that came to sing tonight, we invite you back. Come on Saturday, May 4th, we'll be back there. Uh, we're we're going to be doing a uh, inspiration. And we invite you, praise the Lord. And if you have um, something to give to Brother James, the, the offering buckets right here, this is our, our money tree. So whatever you want to give, you know, just give. Praise the Lord. And here's um, Brother Michael Ray to bless us with some songs. Clap your hands for the Lord.
let you know that Jesus Christ is coming back again soon, amen. Amen. Get your heart in order, amen. Make it right for Jesus Christ out there, amen. I know you're listening under the sounds of my voice, amen. Jesus said, amen, he's coming like a twinkling in the eye, amen, hallelujah. He's coming like a thief in the night, amen, hallelujah. I declare the blood of Jesus upon old moon base, hallelujah. Every house, Lord, every, everywhere the sound goes down the hallway bridge, how it goes all the way to the back of new moon base, hallelujah. Amen, praise God, your windows may be closed through your house, but I pray that the spirit of God goes through the house that you get saved and that you get delivered by the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. We're out here proclaiming the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. I like what Pastor Michelle said. Amen. Breaking down the four walls of barrier. Amen. That we're coming out. Amen. Because if we're a child of God. Amen. We are supposed to shine a light to the darkness and that's what we're doing. Amen. Hallelujah. If God be for us, who can be against us? Amen. Yes, we wrestle against flesh and blood and principalities. Amen. The spirit of darkness and wickedness, amen, all over this land, amen. Shooting, violence, amen, hallelujah. But I know that God's going to deliver you from drugs, the alcohol, amen. Maybe you're going through suicide, maybe you're going through something out there, hallelujah. Amen, if you would come over to the sound, amen, we got ministers that will pray with you and deliver you and encourage you and to uplift you in the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Amen. Talk to him for Jesus, talk to him for Jesus, and have one more song, hallelujah.
as Tanya and uh, Josh come. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. It's good to be here tonight. Happy birthday, Pastor James. It's always good to celebrate birthdays. <laughs> I love birthdays. Every year when I have my birthday, I always try to plan things. I just want to be, you know, with our people, family, or, you know, our church family. You know, I was sitting there thinking, what am I going to say? I want to I want to encourage someone. You know, um, I was sitting there when Brother Gary was talking about, you know, himself. How he was, you know, um, he asked God to forgive him a lot, you know, all the time. And I remember a, a time in my life when I messed up too. You know, I'm not perfect. And I messed up. And I went back to church not long after, you know, this big mess in my life. I went back to church and I remember I would ask God every day, God, forgive me. I messed up. God, please forgive me. I was hard on myself. You know, I, I would ask God every day, forgive me, forgive me. And, you know, it was me, myself. I felt like I couldn't go further because I was being hard on myself. And I remember this, we have our annual, you know, winter camp meeting at our church. And uh, Brother Bacon was preaching. And I went to church that night, one night. And, you know, Brother Bacon is all the way from Texas, right? I didn't get time to sit down with him and tell him how I felt or what I was going through. You know, he didn't know. He had no idea. But that night I went to church. I went up to the, to the altar again. Just every night I went up there asking God to forgive me. And Brother Bacon came up to me to pray for me and he stood in front of me. And he like waited for a bit. And I was standing there. I had my eyes closed at first. And I kind of peeked because I was like, he's not praying for me yet. <laughs> you know, he didn't put his hands on me or anything. And then he and then he he told me, you know, look to look at him. So I looked at him and then he says, God told me to tell you that he doesn't know what you're talking about. And I looked at him like, um, what do you mean? And he says, you ask God to forgive you. Every day, he said, and God said, he doesn't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> and you know, that's God. You know, that night, it just hit me so hard. And I cried and I cried because nobody knew. You know, like I said, Brother Bacon comes all the way from Texas, and he came to tell me that. <laughs> And um, I was just so touched that night, and that's when I knew for sure, for real, you know, God knew what I was praying about. He knew what I was talking about. You know, ever since then, every time, you know, like I said, I'm not perfect. I may say things or do things. I ask God to forgive me, and I know that he loves me through all of it. You know, he loves all of us despite, you know, the way we are sometimes. You know, he loves each and every one of us. And I'm thankful for that. You know, I just thank God for who he is. And I thank him for all that he does. Let me share some. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you. 
with you. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you enjoying yourself this evening? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah to be out here. Praise the Lord in the streets. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. No matter what God tells us that go into the byways and the highways and compel them to come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So moon base. Praise the Lord. We hallelujah. We praise God. Jesus loves you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord tonight. Hallelujah. Hollywood Rich. Jesus loves you also. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. But tonight, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just wanted to share a testimony. Praise the Lord. I shared this testimony last night. Praise God. Uh, praise the Lord. So tonight, we're out here. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And I want to commit the neighborhood, praise the Lord, of Moonbase. Praise the Lord. To hear this also. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Because thank you, Jesus. When, uh, when I, I had this dream, praise the Lord. Yesterday morning, praise the Lord, it troubled my heart, praise the Lord, it came to the point where I needed to ask for forgiveness myself, hallelujah, praise the Lord, so tonight, praise the Lord, I'm not here to condemn you or put you down in any sorts of way, but I'm just going to tell you about what my dream, my dream meant, hallelujah, praise the Lord, I shared it with pastor, praise the Lord, and this morning, praise the Lord, his message is what he kind of went off of, what I, praise the Lord, told him about my dream, praise the Lord, because I believe, praise the Lord, like Pastor Michelle said, that Jesus Christ is coming soon, hallelujah, like, praise the Lord, brother Gary shared it with you also, that Jesus is coming soon, praise the Lord, hallelujah, but tonight, praise the Lord, my dream was that, praise the Lord, yesterday morning, praise God, I was sleeping, praise God, and in my sleep, praise the Lord, I was dreaming that we're at some resident also, praise the Lord, as a gathering, praise the Lord, family get together, praise the Lord, we're there, praise the Lord, I was sitting on a chair, and my son, and praise the Lord, my wife, on the other side, praise the Lord, hallelujah, and in my dream, praise the Lord, I saw four um, school bus going by, praise the Lord, hallelujah, praise God, they were, it's, they were going by, but at the very end, there was a small bus that was going, praise the Lord. And it stopped at the entrance of the, praise the Lord, the residence, praise the Lord. It stopped there. And he called me over. He gave me the signal, like, come here, come here, praise the Lord. And I went there, praise the Lord. And I saw vehicles behind him stopping. And I indicate to him, like, turn on your lights, your stop lights. So he did. He goes, oh, yeah. So he turned it on. And it was one of my coworkers, praise the Lord. And I told him, hey, are you okay? Are you everything all right on the bus? He goes, yes, I'm okay. I'm just, I'm, I'm okay. I'm cold for it. He said, but there's somebody here who wants to see you. Praise the Lord. I was like, oh, yeah? Okay, praise the Lord. And when I was uh, standing below the bus, outside the bus, and he was sitting on top, you know, there's steps that you have to walk up to, praise the Lord, to get on the bus. For. So when I was walking up, I saw a man, praise the Lord. I saw one leg. And I walked up and I saw a leg cross over the other leg. And I saw his arms like this on the seat. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I walked up. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then I saw a brother. Praise the Lord. Who had gone home to be with the Lord 10 years plus years ago. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When, when I saw this brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Pastor James. Hallelujah. I saw. Praise God. In my dream. Praise the Lord. I saw the blade. Hallelujah, Pastor, um, not, uh, might as well be Pastor, but Brazil, the late brother, um, Andrew, Andrew Nantan. I saw him in my dream, and I was like, hey, brother Andrew, you know, the smile that he had on his face, you know, it was so glowing, and the praise the Lord, you could tell he was happy. And I told him, brother Andrew, what are you doing here? Because knowing that he had gone home to be with the Lord. I said, what are you doing here? He said, oh, I'm here. Because he sent me to tell you. I was like, I'm like, well, first of all, I told him, like, you know, well, I'm here for you. I was like, me? Are you ready to take me home? Are you taking me home, glory man? He goes, no. Well, um, he sent me here to tell you, to tell, praise the Lord, Brother James, listen to this, to tell the pastors, the great ones, the church congregations, everybody, he said, everybody, it's time to repent. It's time to repent. 
Everybody, he said. The ministers, the pastors, the evangelists, all the way down to the church congregation, they all need to repent. He's coming, he said. He's coming. And I'm like, me? Why me? You know, nobody's going to listen to you. You know, Josh, you know. And so, Lord, and he, he leaned over. When he leaned over, he wrote on the wall, on the bottom of, of the floor of the bus, he wrote, repent. With no pen or nothing, and the word came out, repent. And it grew bigger and bigger and bigger. And I believe that, praise the Lord, as the testimonies tonight that you heard, Jesus is coming soon. Yes, he is. And it's time for us to repent. It's time for us to repent. No more playing church. No more in and out. Hallelujah. Sure, God's grace is sufficient for us, but also he's a jealous God. He's a jealous God. Praise the Lord. So tonight, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, God sent his only begotten son, praise the Lord, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And the next scripture tells us that in 17, John 3, 17, it says that God sent his son into this world not to condemn the world, but through him they might be saved. He might be saved, praise the Lord. But we are living in a time and an hour that we, we don't know when Christ is going to return. Praise the Lord. The word of God tells us that the hour you think not. The hour you think not. Praise the Lord. Heaven is real. Hell is also real. Hallelujah. And we want you to make heaven your home. Hallelujah. We want you to make heaven your home. So that's why tonight we're out here encouraging you, praise the Lord, with songs and testimony and letting you know that Christ loves you. Hallelujah. He loves you and that he died upon the cross for you. Hallelujah. For your sins. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. So I believe that it's time, praise the Lord, for us to repent. Come back to the foot of the cross and repent of our sins. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And praise the Lord. I keep thinking to myself yesterday morning, like, why did I have that dream? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I was thinking, like, God, if it be, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If it be by your will, give me the strength and the boldness to tell the people that you are coming and it's time to repent. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It's time to repent. You might have been in church once before. You might have been serving the Lord once. But praise the Lord that you backslid it. You went back into the world. But I encourage you to come back to him tonight. Praise the Lord. Call upon him. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As the word of God tells us that in the book of Psalms, I will look unto the hills from whence cometh my help. And my help cometh from the Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus he can help you from your addiction. Praise the Lord. Maybe you're trying to get away from drugs. Maybe you're trying to get away from alcohol. Praise the Lord. You tried everything you can. Praise the Lord. You tried to rehab. You tried to treatment. Hallelujah. Everything the world can help you with. It. But tonight, try Jesus. Hallelujah. Try Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Not only try him. But accept him into your heart, hallelujah. Accept him into your life, hallelujah. Because I'll tell you tonight, he'll never fail you, hallelujah. He'll never let you down, hallelujah. Because he had given us one of the greatest promises ever, is that he'll never leave us, nor forsake us. He'll be with us always, even until the ends of this world, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Like I said earlier, sure, he's a merciful God. And Jesus Christ is mercy, yes. But praise the Lord. But the word of God tells us that, praise the Lord. In the book of Matthew, praise the Lord. It tells us that we're in, we're in time of judgment, praise the Lord. Many will call in his name and say, Lord, Lord, have I not done these things in your name? Have I not cast out demons in your name? Have I not preached your word? Have I not gone out there and testified? Have I not sang for you? Praise the Lord. 
But one of the fearful things to hear out of Jesus Christ's mouth is, I never knew you. I never knew you. Depart from me, you worker of iniquity. Sure, we all fail as human beings. We all fail. We all came short of the glory of God, yes. But it's time for us to repent. Hallelujah. Nobody's perfect. We're all striving. Hallelujah. We're all striving for perfection. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Tonight, I just want to say that if you are perfect, let me fill up a swimming pool and let me see if you can walk in it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And if you sing, hallelujah, you're right along with us that we're striving. Hallelujah. Come on. But Jesus Christ, he loves you. He loves you. He loves you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So tonight, the word of God tells us that Luke Praise the Lord. Let not your heart be troubled. If you believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I wouldn't have told you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So tonight, if you don't know Jesus Christ, I encourage you to get to know him. Accept him as your personal Savior. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ is so wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, so tonight, God is so good, hallelujah. God is so wonderful, praise the Lord. Praise God, praise the Lord. And make me thought about this song, praise the Lord. A song written by brother, praise the Lord, brother McBurn here, praise the Lord. The song, praise the Lord. When I thought about that dream, praise the Lord, I, I can think about the song, praise the Lord, all day yesterday, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus, because he's coming soon, hallelujah. Praise the Lord, he's coming soon. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 oh. 